Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today we're going to talk a little bit about candy concentrates. So um, we do sell the candy concentrates in ready to spray as well as a just concentrate by itself. So what we're mainly going to focus on today is going to be the concentrate itself. So if you buy just the concentrate, then you can actually mix it yourself at your shop and then it does also help you save money because then you can buy a lot of the other stuff more in bulk and then mix it as you go and also you can get the correct mixing ratios that you want to have whenever you're spraying so let's go over a couple of those things what to look for what you need and hopefully at the end of the video you'll be able to mix the candies and you'll be ready to go with just the candy concentrates from the liquid concepts uh, website and we'll also have all the links down in the description below so that way if you have any questions you can click on the links and they'll take you straight to where you need to go so what we've got here is we have of course the first one is going to be our killer cobalt uh, this is going to be our candy concentrate. They come in these nice little uh, two ounce bottles. Uh, they pretty much have the flip top on them so that way whenever you're pouring them, if you want to drop it in and you want to count by the drops, then you can do that. Or if you want to follow it up and go just by the lines whenever you're using a mixing cup, you can do that as well. So once you have the candy concentrate, you do need to add a couple of other items. So number one is going to be a inner coat clear or a binder. And so what we're gonna be using is our LC900 inner coat clear. So this right here is pretty much just like a clear base coat. So this right here is the carrier for the clear base coat that we're gonna use. So in order to use this with this, we need to make it ready to spray for the gun and all of that. So we need to add one more item to this and that's gonna be our reducer. So the reducer is going to mix with the inner coat clear and so then this, these two mixtures right here are going to be ready to spray. Then once we have these ready to spray, then we can add the candy concentrate so then that way we can get the color that we want. In this case, it's going to be the blue, just like what we have here. So the only other thing that you're gonna need is going to be a paint mixing cup. So these are really nice because they have a lot of different mix ratios all the way around. This is a PPG cup. They do make a lot of other cups, but what we're gonna be mainly focusing on is these equal ratio numbers right in through here. And so with these equal ratio numbers right through here, we're gonna be able to mix up all of these together so then that way we get the exact ratio that we need for the coating that we're gonna be spraying. So let's break it down and pretty much show you guys what we're gonna be needing to use and how we're going to be spraying it so then that way we get the consistent results every single time. All right, let's go. All right, so first what we need to talk about is what we need to mix this at. And so um, with the candy concentrates, they can be mixed anywhere between eight to one, 10 to one, 12 to one, and so on and so forth. So the biggest thing to remember about the candy concentrates is that with the candy concentrates, if you go with a higher number, like a 10 to one, 12 to one, 14 to one, you're gonna make this a lot weaker. And so it's not going to cover as much from one coat to the next to the next. So that's good and bad. But if you go lower, like a six to one or eight to one, then of course this will cover very quickly. So what we like to use is normally around eight to one or 10 to one. Most of the time we're probably gonna be running about 10 to one, but just for demonstration purposes, Let's go ahead and run this at eight to one. So then that way you can see exactly what we need to do. So then that way we can have this mixed up and ready to go for a mixing ratio of eight to one. And so what we're gonna do here is, is we're gonna take this and first off, we're actually going to set this candy off to the side. And then we're going to focus on just the inner coat and the reducer and then get it ready to spray. So this inner coat is going to be pretty much a little bit thicker and so it needs to be reduced down with the reducer so then that way it's ready to spray and it sprays really well out of the gun and you get the same consistency that you're normally used to. So in this case right here, 
this mix is actually at a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. Um, different inner coats will mix at different ratios, so it could be a two-to-one, it could be a one-to-one. -one. Um, definitely check with your um, technical data sheet or with the supplier that you bought the inner coat from just to make sure, but in this case right here, if you're using our LC900, then of course, this is gonna mix at a one-to-one -one ratio to be ready to spray. So, what that means is, is we're gonna have eight parts of this combination right here to one part of this candy concentrate that we have right here. So, if we break that down a little bit further, then if we have eight parts total in here, then that means that we're gonna have four parts of this and four parts of this to equal a total of eight parts total. And then we add our candy concentrate, which is the one part, and then now we have a mixing ratio of four to four to one, or in other words, eight with these combined together to one right here. So hopefully I haven't lost you. If I have, definitely kind of go back and kind of look at that, take a look at what we just said. Um, and then of course, we're also gonna show you here on the mixing ratio, so then that way you can see for yourself so let's go ahead and mix this up. So what we're gonna be using is the equal ratio marks right through here. So with these equal ratio marks, all we need to do is, is pretty much just do like I was saying before, you have four and four and one. So in this case, we're gonna go up to the first four and then on the equal ratio marks, so we're gonna go up to four right here with either one of these products. So let's just say that it was the inner coat clear. So we go up to the four with the inner coat clear, and then we go from the four to the eight, which is another four parts, from the four to the eight with the reducer. Once we have that in there, then we add the one part of the candy concentrate. So then we go from the eight mark to the nine mark. And then of course we mix it up, put it in the gun. Now it's ready to spray at an eight to one mix ratio, and now we're ready to go. Now again, you can use that same method going at a 10 to 1, which would actually be 5 and 5 and 1, or even 12 to 1, which is 6 and 6 and 1, or anything like that. So uh, pretty much it's very easy once you kind of understand a lot of that. So let's go ahead and get to mixing on this, and let's show you guys what all it's going to take to have a ready to spray candy concentrate. So we have our inner coat clear. First part, it's gonna go up to the four. So now that we have that, and then now we're going to mix up again the reducer to make it ready to spray. And it's going to go from the four to the eight, so another four parts on it. All right, so now that we already have it right there at the eight, now all we're gonna do is, is we're gonna put the cap back on this and then grab our candy concentrate. So once we have our candy concentrate, now we're just gonna go with that one part again. And so now it's gonna go from the eight to the nine mark. So we're gonna open this cap here, make sure that this lid is on really tight. You always wanna make sure of that. And then we'll put this in here like that. And again, if you wanted to even mix up a smaller amount, you could just drop this in and go by droplets, or you can take that and add that in to the nine mark right there. And so now that we have that, we can go ahead and close this lid on this, set that off to the side, and then now we can take and mix this up, whether it be with a mixing stick, or you can even take and move this around a little bit. This one's a little bit full, so I'd probably recommend using like um, a paint mixing stick, or of course, putting it in a paint shaker in a closed container, just to make sure that you get everything shook up really well. Once that's all shook up, you can hook it into your gun, pour it into your gun, whichever way you're spraying with it, and then of course, spray your candy concentrate and make an absolutely beautiful piece of work whenever you're using any of the candy concentrates from, of course, Liquid Concepts.
So hopefully this video has really helped you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related. And as always, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on, of course, anything hydrographics and paint related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.